Kayser makes history. I mean Henry Kayser, seen here with his wife at the launching of one of the ships he has built in 18 days. As she swings the bottle, Mrs. Kayser nearly misses the boat. But Junior comes to Mama's aid, and the 10,000 tons John Fitch glides away to join Uncle Sam's merchant fleet. No sooner has the John Fitch hit the water, than the keel of another ship is lowered into place. That's how shipbuilder Henry Kayser is making headlines and history. Another launch to hit the headlines is that of the United States battleship Iowa. 45,000 tons of dreadnought to help convince the Nazis that theirs is a lost cause. She's ready to join the American Navy seven months ahead of schedule and will soon be followed by five more in the same class. Away she goes. A mighty good reason for confidence in ultimate victory for the Allies with freedom for all who deserve it. Welcome the wax. Another American headline tells how over 400 young ladies under their director, Ovita C. Hobby, become officers in the United States Army taking a soldier's oath. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. So help me God. They're receiving their commissions as third officers in the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, the ATS of America. It's a good deal for them, for each gets a 100% commission. After the wax, the waves are in the news. They're the United States equivalent of our wrens, women of the Navy. Their full title is Women Appointed for Voluntary Emergency Service. The initial spelling waves, very appropriate. Permanent waves for the duration. Miss Pavlichenko, a 26-year-old Russian girl, is the guest of Monsieur Litvinov, Soviet ambassador in Washington. Why is she so honored? Just the fact that she's credited with killing 309 Nazi soldiers. Believe me, that's something big. Something big applies also to blockbusters, which have hit the headlines almost as hard as they're hitting the Hun. American 2,000-pounders calculated to wipe out an entire block in one wallop. There she goes. And as cameramen are scarce, ours films the effect from a mile away. The effect of a blockbuster can be felt 10,000 feet up. Pity we can't hang one of these on Hitler's watch chain. <laughs> 